joining us now is Shannon Muldoon. Shannon works here at Catholic TV, usually behind the scenes, but that's not going to happen for long because we have something called the Kids Club's Vacation Bible School. We do. It's a mouthful. Yes. It's a lot. What is it? Well, let's see. Um, first of all, I'm so excited to be down here. This is the day is probably my favorite program probably. on Catholic TV. Probably. It is. It okay. definitely right. is. Glad to so hear you every say Tuesday that. and Friday, I make sure I turn that on. Mm -hmm. So it's a treat to actually be here on the couch. Um, <laughs> and with our talk about WOW and our great kids programming, um, this summer we're starting our own kids club at Catholic TV. And we'll be doing a vacation Bible school. Um, and so we'll be watching some great programming from CCC of America. They're wonderful to Catholic TV. Um, we've watched a lot of their programming before. Um, and we'll learn about a new saint um, that's involved with a cartoon and we'll learn some Catholic history. Um, and then you get to follow me along and, and make a fun craft um, that goes along with the cartoon every day. So nice. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really good time for kids and families. You know, I was just saying earlier before you came on that Catholic TV is very much like a parish, you know. It is. Mass and rosary, you know, in the morning. Uh, crafts in the afternoon. Yeah. What what are some of the things that the kids will be doing? Because this is something that a lot of parishes have. They have a, a summer vacation Bible school, and mm -hmm. so we're trying to replicate that, but on television. Absolutely. Um, you know, like we said, Catholic TV is definitely the parish of the airwaves. Um, so we're bringing that home to viewers, um, so they don't have to leave their homes in the summer. And um, you know, we'll be watching cartoons and making crafts. Um, and I happen to bring just a few of the activities we'll be doing. Um, during Kids Club here, so our viewers can get a sneak look at what's going to happen. Um, and so this is a craft. Um, this is the Blessed Virgin in a grotto. Um, and so one of the, the cartoons we'll watch from CCC of America will go over Bernadette um, and her discovery of the Blessed Virgin of Immaculate Conception. Um, so we'll be making that. And I'll give a demonstration on that one when we're there. Um, just another fun craft. You can see it's a tissue paper flower. Mm. Um, and as we all know, the patron saint of Catholic TV is St. Therese, also known as the Little Flower. <laughs> um, so this is a craft that we'll be learning how to make on Catholic TV as well. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. And what, what are the stickers? Well, I brought these as a special treat for you and Father Reed. Here you go. Do I put it right on? Yeah, put it right I will. on. Here I will go, put Father it right Reed. on. Um, so these mm. stickers are our official Kids Club uh, Catholic TV stickers. Um, so we'll have those, and um, we have an email address and a website and ways to get in contact with us, which I'm sure we'll go over, um, and we'll be sure to send you some stickers along. So. Now, you've been here. How long have you been at Catholic TV? I've oh. been here since September. Okay, yes. so you've been here since September. Mm -hmm. You start this, and already you have stickers that, you know, talk about the thing you're doing. Of Catholic course. Kids. Now, how long have I been here, Father Reed? <laughs> oh, like like 105 years. years or something like that. And I don't have a single sticker for this as a day. Something. Something is amiss here at Catholic TV. Are you excited about it? I'm I just am giving excited. Hard time. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to make this is the day stickers. That'll be my next project. We have prizes relations. too. What's prizes? We do. Um, so we'll have one lucky winner that will take home a CCC of America 11 series Heroes and Saints DVD set. Um, and that will include all five episodes we watch on um, Catholic TV Vacation Bible School and an additional six mm -hmm. that they'll get to take home and view. Um, and it's a really, really nice prize. Um, you know, there's great faith resources in it. Um, and they'll have really fun watching the episodes. And, and what we'll do is we'll have parents and adults, um, you know, email submissions of kids making our crafts at home, uh, send us some photos, keep in touch on our Facebook page, um, and we'll pick one lucky winner out of that pool that gets to take home the DVD set. Mm -hmm. Now, yep. people must be wondering, when is all this going to happen? So, um, <laughs> Catholic TV Vacation Bible School will start June 18th, and it will run that first week. Um, and then it will re-air again in July and in August as well. So you'll have three opportunities this summer, um, you know, typically during the summer months when the kids will be home, that you'll be able to participate in Vacation Bible School um, with families as well. I mean, you know, this is geared, the crafts are geared towards kids, but it's also a great opportunity for families to stay home together during the summer and to spend some time with each other and, and learn mm -hmm. about Catholic history and, and make some fun crafts. You know, i gotta, I got to thank someone, too, who's not here in the living room right now, but I know that Bonnie Rogers has Absolutely. wanted to make this happen for mm -hmm. a while and she's just uh, just a wonderful person I know okay. that you work very closely with her mm -hmm. and, and she's been one of the driving forces behind yeah, did faith too. out loud too that was Bonnie's idea for yeah. faith out yeah. loud yeah. Uh, you know people are probably looking at you and saying I've seen her somewhere before too <laughs> the daily mass you you're, you're yes. always on oh, the yeah. daily mass I you and am. Helen Lee yeah and Bonnie yes. actually and yeah. Kevin Nelson yeah yeah and, and you, you sometimes and if anyone happened to go to the cable show who's watching from around the country mm -hmm. which was in Boston this year they would have seen Shannon right there at the Catholic TV booth, which was more than a booth. It was mm -hmm. more like yeah. a ninth century 
Romanesque cathedral. It, mm -hmm. it was great. It was yeah. We got a lot of compliments on that booth. Mm -hmm. It looked wonderful. Yes. It did. Yeah. It did. Now, there were some other things, too, that you do here at Catholic TV. Actually, your main job is public relations. Tell so people about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I do, I work in public relations here for Catholic TV. Um, so typically I'm upstairs making sure that all of our great programming and our events are being properly promoted um, and letting our viewers know what our programming entails um, and when they can find it. Um, and I also work closely with Helen Lee, as we mentioned, um, and she does our social media. So we make a great team together. Um, you know, we, we start that. from programming and we work our way down and, you know, let people know the schedule in advance so that way they can stay tuned for their favorite programs. Then you worked your way all the way down to Studio A? Today? I did, I yes. Could see I can see Helen. Helen's probably very happy right now that we're mentioning her. Absolutely, so yeah. Her <laughs> hard work does we not go unnoticed. We got to be careful, unnoticed. though, yeah, because <laughs> she does the Twitter and she does Facebook and YouTube, so she could get us back very easily. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a rumor, by yeah. the way. Father Reed, did you know there's a rumor going on? Uh, I love rumors, though. Yeah, this is, is a good one. That you might even be doing some things on This Is A Day, some type of cooking thing. That is a rumor. Um, <laughs> That's a rumor. It's a rumor, <laughs> but hopefully it won't be a rumor for too long. Um, and when I'm not doing our public relations here for Catholic TV or making crafts for Vacation Bible School. Um, I do love to cook at home. Um, it's one of my favorite hobbies. Cupcakes, um, right? Cupcakes, oh, yes. Cupcakes. Uh, our staff here at Catholic TV, I'm sure, hopefully they like them, but I, I've gotten some good responses from mm -hmm. them. But I do bring in my treats a lot, Catholic TV. Um, my mom got me this great cookbook all about Catholic feast days and the great food that accompanies it. So hopefully you'll see me again on This mm. Is The Day, but you know, maybe cooking this time instead of making crafts. Well, it's a perfect marriage in this sense that you love to cook and mm -hmm. the staff loves to eat. Yes, that works out wonderfully. <laughs> but, but, you have to realize that the people on the program get to taste the food first, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Because, yeah. It, not, not because of, you know, that we are on the show, it's just because we have to show people that we'll eat the it's food. It's called course. television etiquette. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Father. I was trying to get <laughs> there. I'll be called. sure to give you guys the first, the first treat. Well, we are very, very excited Great. about this. Thank it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait. You said uh, about two weeks away, middle of yeah, June. Yeah, yeah. So people have to stay tuned and look around for that. Yeah. Um, and thanks for everything you do for Catholic Thank TV. Thank you. We can't wait to have you on This Is The Day Great. doing the food stuff, too. So. Thank you. 